Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to good old Dover in the B-Fix series in Xfinity Car, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we're we're sitting here for Road to 5K, P9, number four in the split. Our I rating's like 49, 30 something, and pretty dang close to 5K. I'm telling you, I've never been this high before in I rating, and I've been doing a couple races off camera, and have gotten lucky that I haven't lost any I rating. So. <laughs> It's getting tough, man. It's really getting tough from here on out. But Dover's a good track for me, and I need to practice this track just because I like this track. I need to keep learning and get better at it. So here we go. 55 laps. It's going to be fun. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with it. Fire it home, boys. A little sketchy, little slow start. It's okay. Everybody was kind of easy on the gas, I think. I don't know if you can get loose early on a, on a start, but we're kind of just going to ride this thing out. Save the right front. Got one outside. Somebody just got pushed up. All clear, all clear. All right. This is the one thing I got to work on is being smart with the right front. I can be quick, but that's the first time the back end got loose. All clear, all clear. It's loose going in early. I don't know if it's just because the cold tire's not gripping up or something, but I'm trying to let it roll longer through the center before getting back on the gas, but it seems like the back end is really uh, wanting to take off. I have zero practice laps, except for the two qualifying lap runs I did. First one was terrible. The second one definitely picked it up, get us up here at night. But after that, there's no practice. I'm hoping the back end starts stepping out. That'd be nice. Cause I can handle that much better than I can a right front. Got a guy running on the inside. Let him have it here. Inside. Stay high. Fall back in line, try to ride it out a little bit. Maybe these guys will push it just enough to give me better tire advantage later in the run if we go green. I'm kind of banking on that. Yeah, I think the car progressively is going to get tighter. It's early in the run with the cold tires. I think I just think that's going to obviously make it loose, but. Already guys smacking a wall on exit, so people definitely pushing their their cars. Either that or somebody just ran out of room. One or the other. That was your fastest lap of the session. The leader just did a 24.048. And 24.0. Wow. Yeah, they're really backing up. So, and they're not taking off because they're kind of taking care of their stuff. Everybody is kind of doing that. So right now the race is going to turn out to be who can save the right front the best, who can keep their car straight, that kind of thing. I'm running, okay, there we go. I dropped a little bit on time. Maybe faster now, but I'd rather be faster later than early. You can burn them up faster in 10 laps, but you'd rather be faster in the last 10 than you are the first 10. You know, instead of trying to fight for position, just let them work their way back to you, you know. Very easy to just want to go. But the thing I've learned is just being patient. Now, the, the B car, on the other hand, the Xfinity car, is not my best car. Definitely have some things to work on when it comes to pace and long run speed. I'm gonna get the 15 to run here. Stay high. All clear, all clear. Kind of see where the tire fall off is for these guys. I mean, 10 laps in. Still got 45 laps to go. Don't need to be pushing anything too hard. Everybody's still bunched up pretty tight. Ugh. Get 
got one outside. They really backed up entry there for him, so just took it to the all bottom. Clear, all clear. Outside. Stay low, dude. Call the high I don't know why you pinching me going in there. I believe I'll let you go easily with no fight. All clear, all clear. Got one outside. I mean, I love it when Stay you low, try to race smooth with guys and let them go and Stay low, dude. Call the high side. you get a run back on them. And now clear. you're. Clear having to fight for that spot back you know I just let them go obviously and then all of a sudden we're fighting you know Punch it off the corner really good. Outside. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Stay low. And Stay one. Low. Oh. You're clear high. Clear high. You got one outside. That was a little closer Still cover. There. Hey, gun, bro. A little tight, ain't you? All clear, all clear. <laughs> Holy cow, scared me. I expected him to stay up there and not come down to track. It's 20 cars, so what do you expect? He's holding everybody up now. All about keeping the tires cool, man. I know they're getting heated up, but... It's all about trying to keep the car straight, not using as much wheel. Keeping that right front cool as best as you can so it don't burn up and wear out as quick with this tire model the way it's made. It, it, it definitely rewards saving tires over, you know, speed, you know. All right, man. There's caution your first is caution. Out. caution is out. Line up single as we say that, we get our caution. So, and it's just the guy behind the 20 car fighting hard. So, all right, let's rack him up. I'll probably show you pits, because that's one thing I looked back in older videos that I used to do was showing pits and then skipping to the restart, because that kind of dictates how the restarts go, so might be a close face, you never know. Honestly, not a bad run. We got up to sixth, which I'm happy to get to. We were showing a little bit more pace later in, so I'm glad to see that. Definitely saving the stuff, but just keeping pace with the leaders here. Oh, Lord, what are we doing? I mean, we're going... We're going to just pace 40 mile an hour. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pit ready. 35 miles per hour. Very slow pit entry. Pit limit speed. Make sure I'm not going to get cut off by anybody. Three, two, one. Right here. Very easy box to get into, though, because you're going so slow. But uh, let's see what we got here. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look at stats here in a minute when we get going. I'll make sure I get a good straight exit. All right, that's it. Go. Be mindful. You only have one set of tires remaining. All right, well, Line we're about, about P6 still, so not the bad stop. Let's go ahead and get to the restart. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Uh, should we go try to get to the bottom, or should we just try to f file in and get what we can, not lose too much spots but it maybe do good on the top might be able to do good up here with fresh tires we'll see but p6 still night 92 91 92 right front 91 right rear which i'm honestly surprised about on a 20 lap run didn't expect that at all get ready yeah first gear start for sure but the pace car is felt a little bogged down on the on the initial start so 
Here we go. Let's get going green. Let's hope we go green in the end. Green flag, green flag. The leader just did a 17. Really good restart. Got him. The guy by, on, but underneath botched the restart. Got to race the smart here, boys. People going to be pushing. underneath and going into one. Make them race. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. All clear. All clear. Trying to get clear so I can get in line. That was your box. Last of the session. Here at fourth place. P3, looking good. You're in third place. Next car is the leader. Outside. I really don't want to pass the one, but any more any more cars that I have to, but I don't know what's going to happen. They're going to pass me back. All clear, all clear. And it's Larry Pace, dude. If you haven't raced the Larry Pace, dude, you got you're going to know he's one of the hardest guys to beat, in my opinion. I've raced him a few times this week. Past few weeks, actually. This raw pace alone on trying to save tires is insane. I'll let the A get on with it if he wants to. If we go green, he'll fall back. Keeping the wheel straight. That's good to know. Yeah, I messed up exit right there a little bit. That's okay. Not really trying to fight the one or try to get a run on them or anything. Just trying to keep pace with them. Where, you know, long run speed still is good, but, you know, I'm not falling like a rack. I'd rather this thing use the right rear, to be honest. If the tire wear wears like it does, I'd really love the right rear to become a thing. I, I can handle that better than the right front plowing. Definitely my pace right now, but he might be slowing down a little bit. Or might do good, I don't know. You never know. I think definitely Larry's catching him for sure. I'm 
you see what I mean with Larry? He just can keep pace and then just starts pulling away every time. Every time. That's why his I rating is like where it's at, 85 or whatever it is. It's insane. Definitely you can learn from him following him and trying to see his line and everything. Maybe not so much gas and brake, but because you can't really see how you modulate that. But when it comes to your racing line and how smooth you are, you can definitely learn a lot. Because maybe, like, I learned maybe Larry wasn't as aggressive going into the corner. When I was entering the corner, I would catch up to him really good, you know, like I would get right to his bumper. But I think because of that, I'm losing a little time now. You know, it's affecting my speed now. Exit, you know, I might be okay full throttling it, but definitely entry is killing the rotation entering, entering the center. So we definitely run down back the eight. I knew we would if we go green. Eight's probably gonna fight hard on this one. Hey, look how much time we gained just in one corner alone. Just dive the nose in there. All right, another look. You got one outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Hate it when people do that. You got a nose. Everything beat on them. And they still try to pinch you going into the corner. I might have pushed it a little too hard trying to get around the eight. I might be pushing it right now a little too hard trying to catch Larry. so easy to punch it early and then burn the right front off a little bit just take it, pace it, roll it ease back into throttle all that kind of thing looking good definitely keeping Larry honest which I know he ain't going to make a mistake so we just got to do about raw speed. The leader just did a 24.877. Yeah, just a, just a hundred faster right there and still faster. You can just pull it away again. We have 10 to go this time by.
Man, when you're on equal pace, it's tough. It is tough. Yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to keep the car straight, not smack the wall. We're pulling away from third, which is good. I know I'm not going to catch Larry. I just don't feel the speeds coming back. I was doing good for a little bit, but I think I burned him up when I got back on the gas. I didn't. I punched it, kept punching it too soon. So right now, we're just pacing ourselves. See what Larry's doing. He's not going all the way to the bottom on the exit. Obviously diming it, but keeping it diamonding it, but he's not fully committing to the bottom, you know, like right here, and then drifting up a little bit, about right there, and getting down, and not all the way down now, like right there. Definitely helping me gain on the third place. I just think that over time, yeah, hey, I'm definitely gaining from the guys behind me, five laps to go. but it's definitely not <laughs> helping me. The leader just did a 25.055. Gained a little bit right there, though. I don't think it's enough, though. Three and four, he really pulls it, but one and two, I'm actually able to maintain a little bit. But right there, it just starts getting tighter. Honestly, it's been a pretty good race. I'm surprised. This hour, it's like it's a 10 o'clock race. I say that now with two laps to go, you know, coming up, so. Hoping it goes green all the way up to the end. All right, man, two to go. I'll be anxious to see where we're at I-rating, and I will show that at the end of this race, so stay tuned for that. But taking a white flag coming up here if we don't have a caution. Just got the white flag. That means one more left to go. So, ooh, don't hit the wall. <laughs> oh, the smooth race. A little scary moment there in the middle of it. But overall, I'll have to say, highly impressed with how we ran here. Highly yeah. impressed. I was not expecting to run second and within a second to Larry. So that's, to me, huge. This is a huge win for me, and I'll take it any day. Good win, Larry. Whew, let's go. Good win, Larry, buddy. That was, that was tough getting, getting to you. All right, well, let's go ahead and park it, and I'll swap over swap, swap over you guys being to um, swap over to the I rating and see what we get, which actually, I'll see it. I don't know what we're gaining. I think... Is it 55? I think it's 55. If that's the case, that'll put me at 4980 something. If that's the case. Okay, 10, 10. Yeah, I think so. So one more race. Five, if we don't have six, any Three, two, more problems, one. like a, a problematic race or anything, that's it. Go. Five Ks in the bag. Holy cow! But all right, well, stay tuned for that one. Hopefully, we'll get it. And I hope you did enjoy this race. So make sure you drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new already. It aren't new or are new. Yeah, I'm rusty. Please forgive me. I don't record every day. So if you're if you're new, subscribe, join the crew. It'd be greatly appreciated. 
as always, Lord does love you every single day. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Signing off.